Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet housing in a Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 8 open inlet range, 5 16 snot driver, Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, pair of needle nose pliers, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet housing. The water inlet housing is installed on the left side of the dishwasher. It's connected to the water inlet valve and to the drain hose. The main reason for the water inlet housing to be replaced is if it cracks, causing a water leak. So we're going to open the door and we're going to remove the uh, lower dish rack first. And then we're going to pull out and remove the upper dish rack. And we're going to pull it all the way out and then we're going to lift it up to disengage the rollers here on the side the rails. And we can remove it. Now next I'm going to take out the two Phillips screws that uh, holds the uh, dishwasher to the countertop. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open ended wrench, take off the water line. Then, using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. So, now we're going to pull the dishwasher from under the counter and slide it side to side to move it slightly out. Then, I'm going to grab it by the top of the dishwasher body in. Roll it out. Then we're going to use uh, needle nose pliers to unscrew this uh, cover nut. We turn it counterclockwise slowly to not force it. You're going to remove it. So now we're going to flip over the installation. Just remove it out of the way. Using pliers, I'm going to squeeze this hose clamp and slide it down. And next, I'm going to take this fill hose off. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to start prying it off and pulling the hose down. Pull this old water inlet housing off the two hoses. This is the old water inlet housing next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Before installing this part, we need to remove this uh, cover nut. So, just simply unscrew it, turning it counterclockwise, and then we're ready to install it. Before installing new water inlet housing, I'm going to clean the hoses. I'm going to bring in a new water inlet housing and I'm going to place this into the cutouts. After we're going to connect the hoses, so place it on and push it down. All right. And it perfectly fits into the cutout. And then we're going to lift up this hose clamp. And before putting it on, I'm going to use some liquid soap and soap this connector. Slide the fill hose on. 
then using pliers, we're going to install the clamp on. We're going to open the dishwasher, and we're going to install this uh, cover nut. Uh, we're going to attach this uh, new water inlet housing to the uh, dishwasher's cabinet. Screw it on. And then we can uh, tighten it just a little bit with uh, needle nose pliers. Unless you have a strong hand and you don't need the pliers then. Don't over tighten, don't break the plastic. All right, close the door and we can put down the insulation. Put it into under these of the tabs. Now we can slide it in. You probably want to stop at this point and uh, go underneath of the uh, sink and pull in the hoses in the power cable. And then we can continue installation. Now we're going to secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a couple of Phillips screws. Using the Phillips screwdriver. And now we're going to put the uh, racks in. Pull out the rails, and now we're going to install the upper dish rack on the rails. Lift it up and go over that end cap. We can push it in. So now is the time for the lower dish rack assembly to go back in, and then we can close the door. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten them using 5 8 open-ended wrench and then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 